In the animal justice system, dessert offenses are considered especially heinous. Tuesday and Wednesday prior to the fair, we always do our baked good take-ins. We had about 932 entries this year. And when we placed them in the case on Tuesday night, everything was fine. When we got in Wednesday morning, we had noticed about four pieces of bread and three cookies were eaten out of the cases. And one piece was actually on the floor. Authorities in Burton, Ohio have identified a potential suspect in the bold break-in, targeting the baked goods department at the Great Geauga County Fair. Set the scene for me. What happened? He actually climbed in a very small hole up on some shelving, actually unplugging the fan. Somebody had a, a cell phone charger plugged in behind a little display. He unplugged those and walked across some of our apple pie to get to the cake. The perpetrator returned the next morning for another nibble, but Ann believes the suspect fled when she arrived at the scene. And I thought, what if this thing is still in here? Um, which obviously it wasn't, but I just went over to the office and I said, you know, we have a situation. A situation indeed. So what did the suspect look like? Did you get a good uh, shot of the suspect? Well, no, we actually never saw the suspect, but left his paw prints behind. A picture of one of the cake actually has a complete paw print. What did the dusting show of that paw print? Um, that it was a raccoon. A canny critter with opposable thumbs and a sugar rush addiction. The dessert forager remains at large. A wanted poster now sits beside the crime scene. Those animals. They're quite clever. Yes, he is quite the little bandit, probably a few pounds heavier, I would say now. But perhaps it's all in a name. After all, Tiaga means raccoon. Apparently when the settlers came here, it was just raccoons were everywhere. So they called it uh, Shioga territory. Um, and then it just changed to Geauga County, you know, after years, but I'm not exactly sure when. Well, it sounds like you kind of had it coming then, Geauga County. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com.